welcome to the video first one first off i'm gonna give my creator my father in heaven all the honor glory and praise and yeshua all the honor glory and praise uh, i ran across a video here this morning i was watching this video and um um everybody <clears throat> probably knows in the book in the scripture in revelation there's the beast and the harlot. They're in a fight. The beast hates the harlot. And uh, I want to try to. What, and my my theory on that is, you know, you've got all these people that do the abortion. I mean, they do abortions, and they just, you know, they're the Democrats, basically. I believe that's the the a wing of, of the harlot. Of the world well now you got the beast they're in a fight in revelation they're they're warring against each other so i believe there is a war going on between the beast and the harlot uh basically the the so-called republicans and the so-called democrats the hegelian dialect but the beast system is a religious system it's a religious system. Um, the beast system just uh, overturned Roe versus Wade. There's a system that hung Jesus Christ on the cross. The beast system. Jesus said there's Antichrist today working. In his day, they were Antichrist. So anyway, they uh, that's the beast. And that's the one that people really need to be afraid of, that beast system. You know, if they're if they're going to be afraid, I'm not meaning be really be be afraid, but I'm meaning if you if you don't if you ain't in the escape that God provides, if you don't get in it, you better be afraid of the beast because they're the ones that's going to cut your heads off. They're so religious, they're going to set up the seven Noahide laws. That's what they're doing. The seven Noahide laws, not the Ten Commandments or anything like that. You know, but uh, they because the, the, the Noahide laws are a lot more vague. You can. Uh, they're going to try to set up a a um, god like kingdom where there's a king and there's a there it's a hierarchy so that uh, but this is going to be an unrighteous king and that's what they're working on right now this beast is fighting with the harlot and and the beast is going to win that's what the scriptures say the beast will take over the harlot and you can see let me look up at i'm gonna look up that verse right quick while for uh um in revelation let's see right here um and i want to say one other thing the thing that happened in the past two years it will qualify for the mark of the beast um let's see Uh, Revelation 17. Let me see right here. Maybe it'll show us right here. Come and I'll show you the judgment of the great prostitute who sits on many waters with whom the kings of the earth committed adultery. The inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of their sexual immortality. Then he carried me away into the spirit. I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of blasphemous names, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and was adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the filth of her sexual immorality. On her, that, I don't, that's what, wasn't what the original says. The original canon scripture don't say it like that. They, they've changed these words a little bit, but still, what I'm getting to is, um, 
on her forehead was written mystery babylon the great the mother of the prostitutes and the abominations of the earth and i saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs of jesus When I saw her, I marveled greatly. The angel said to me, Why do you marvel? I'll tell you the mystery of the woman and the beast that carries her, which has seven heads and ten horns. The beast you saw was the beast which you saw was and is not it is to send out of the bottomless pit and go into destruction. These people dwell on earth whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life or the Book of Life from the foundation of the world. And they will marvel when they see the that see the beast that was and is not and is to come. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who received no kingdom yet, but they will receive authority as kings for one hour with the beast. They saw they are one mind and will give her will give their power and authority to the beast. They will rage war with the lamb, but the lamb will overcome them. For he is the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, for those who are with him are called chosen and faithful. Then he said, I mean, uh, Then he said to me, The waters which you saw where the prostitute sits are the peoples and magnitudes and nations and tongues. These ten horns and the beast you saw will hate the prostitute. They will make her desolate and naked and devour her flesh and burn her with fire. For God put in her their hearts to fulfill his will and to be of one mind and to give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. The woman you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. All right. That is happening, uh, people. You're seeing that it's that... Uh, that the beast system is is really it's built it's been built for a while but the harlot and the beast were one at one time you know they were the democrats and republicans were really one if that's the way you want to look at it that's the easy way to look at it they were one at one time but they started separating and the uh god put it in the hearts of the beast people to start warn against a prostitute harlot prostitute same thing but uh that's what's going on right now and i've done a little video here i want y'all to listen to i'll come back after it's over and i'll uh i'll uh then i want you to watch here um i mean just it ain't but about a minute long but listen to this right here we're hearing she's been singing like a canary that was the plea deal from what i'm understanding i don't know if that's something that so they're exposing them in the numbers that, that they stood together and tried to demolish people's liberties and everything else. And then I started looking at the good guys that so are exposing them. Russell Brand, he gets higher, higher figures than they all get put together. Mm -hmm. Clay Clark, Chaz Carter, Ben Shapiro, Joe Rogan, Dave, um, Dave Rubin. Charlie Kirk, Dan Bongino, Dinesh D'Souza, Cash Patel, Steve Bannon. I mean, the numbers that these guys are getting now, if we come together, yes. forget about beating them. We can bury these people once and for all. And, of course, now we've got Dallas as well. So you just keep building up the numbers of these people, and he's the punisher. I am. I try to be. <laughs> exactly, and they need punishing. Um, and that's not just with a little slap. These people need to be taken out, out once and for all. They've, they've, they were given the job to, to put the news out there, and they haven't. They put out propaganda, lies, bullshit, nonstop. Lots of things have been uh, happening around the world, not just uh, obviously in the UK or in the States, but everywhere uh, a thing, things are on and popping. The biggest thing, uh, obviously, we're getting prepared over here in the States for us. Okay, y'all heard that. They, that's the way the B system is. I mean, it's born people. That's why. You know, y'all hear me talk about gang stalking a lot, and um, that's the beast system, really, is the gang stalk, they're, they gang stalk, and if you're not being, I mean, you might be being gang stalked, and you don't even know it, you know, because these are professionals, they've trained how to gang stalk you without you seeing them, you won't see them until they want you to see them, then that's when they, they want you to know that they're following you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but uh, that's, um, that's 
part of the beast system is to gang stalk God's people. And that's what's going on right now. But uh, I'm going to get back to this beast and harlot for a minute. They, um, they've turned on each other. It's what's happened. Just like God, the word of God says. He, God put it in their minds to go after the prostitute. The mystery Babylon is really who it is. The ones that's been... That's, because they were one and God separating them and he's using the beast to um, but what I'm getting around to is you heard the guy these people need punished now listen folks they say that I have a strong tongue you know and I'm but here's what God has given a way of um there has to be two or three witnesses where you can punish anybody. That's mercy right there. That there have to be two or three, at least two to three witnesses if you've done something wrong that that has to come against you and and go to the proper, you take the proper steps. There's steps to take. You don't just go punishing people because you think because you think they're bad or you think they've done something wrong. You just don't, you, that's not God's way. Y'all's way is to just start punishing people for no reason. Uh, everything's a seed. Every and, and it remembers. This seed remembers everything. You know, I mean, it's put into your. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Why does God let people go hungry on this earth? God says Satan is the god of this earth. The beast is the God of this earth right now. And, it, and he has been ever since they hung Jesus on the cross. It was the religious people, the scribes and Pharisees, that had Jesus hung on the cross. And his own, the beast, that's who hung Yeshua on the cross. And uh, they, because they, they accused him of breaking the Sabbath and things like that, you know, and that he should be hung. And because they they don't read the bible right they don't read the right words they speak system they just they're going to punish you they're going to well it's coming down to it the obamacare had in the in the obamacare there's a, a already a law that says that uh, a billing code for the use of uh of the guillotine uh, in, there's a bill in obamacare that says that if you use the guillotine, I mean, you can build the insurance company for it. So they've done got it into place. And uh, if you, I believe that uh, that all these Christians are being deceived. All these churches are being deceived. Matter of fact, they're using the church to, to gang stop. That's what's going on. And if you're in a church, you believe in church, you're being and you're gang stalking shame on you you are with a beast you ain't with jesus christ you're with the beast jesus would never have he never had any of his apostles or anything going around gang stalking people he never had because that, that's not god's way god's way is merciful you have to be two or three witnesses against a person before they can take them to try to prosecute them if they're if you've done something wrong and and um nobody comes only one person comes to get against you they have to do they have to go to uh a pastor first and get that pastor to and get involved but in order to prosecute you really have to have two or three witnesses so what this this beast system is going to do it's going to call you a terrorist or whatever and then they're going to cut your head off with the guillotine that's what's here folks is the, the beast system and it's y'all can see it with Bill Moore on TV uh, there's a guy named Roy Potter he says uh, just stay out of the way of them you know try not try to get involved with them but that beast system is going after everybody it's going after the harlots going after God's people because they're a religious bunch they're part Muslim part Jewish you know they believe them uh, I think it's probably the Kabbalah people and the Muslim, you know, whoever this is, has, whoever the Antichrist is, he has thoughts of both. 
Muslims and uh, Muhammad and Jesus Christ. Well, maybe not so much Jesus Christ, but God. You know, they think they're following God just like they did the scribes and Pharisees. They were the religious people of the time of Yeshua. And um, they're the one that hung him on the cross, and they're cruel people. But uh, this time's going to be different. This time, if you, God always provides a way of escape for his people. He did it with Noah. There wasn't very many, but he provided a way of escape. He provided a way of escape for Moses and the Israelites. And he's going to do it again. So you want to be in that part. You want to be in that group that gets to escape. If not, you're going to have to. You're going to face the guillotine and the mark. When we end this video, I just wanted y'all to hear that. That is the beast system. You that on that video clip. That is the beast system that's coming to. That's here already. They're ready to punish. And. Um, it's going to play out just like the, the scripture says, I believe, but because that's what's going on right now. You can see scripture being fulfilled. What I'm saying is that you can see scripture being fulfilled. And there's never been a time that we need to be serious about our hearts and our creator and being on getting on that ark or being in that um, rapture. However, God provides the way of escape. You need to be in it. You need to. You need to get just you and God, you and God, nobody else. You know, you don't need anybody else. You need you and God, you and Yeshua. He provided the way for us. Yeshua did. And I don't care what anybody says about that. Jesus Christ, he was in the first scripture in the Bible. When you break it down in the Hebrew, Jesus Christ was in the first, very first scripture of Genesis. But anyway, I'm just, uh, I seen that this morning. I listened to that video and I thought, yeah, I mean, it's, the beast is here. And I told you, go to type in beast.com in your, you, in your address bar and you'll see where it goes. It goes to Rumble. Type in beast.com. It goes to Rumble. It, it, it guides you to Rumble. That's the true social platform that Donald Trump's going to. That, and, uh, so the beast system's already set up. You know, in the in the there's a code on every package of food or every, any every package of any product. There's a code on there, and it's a barcode. And the first letter is a six, or the first number is six, or set, the middle number is a six, and the last number is a six, a six. So it's been set up for a long time. The beast system. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for coming to this video. I just thought it was interesting that people need to, you know, if you're, if you're just coming to this channel or you're, God's trying to awaken you, um, God is sending things from the sun, CMEs and stuff like that. That's to awaken his, the 144,000, his, his people. So, um, if you're, you know, if you're waking up in the, all hours of the night, that's God trying to wake you up to, uh, so you can be in his group when the, in the escape from one. But um, I just want to let I just wanted to let y'all hear that how this beast systems are already here and they're ready to punish anybody that they don't agree with. It's not you, you have a free will. If you want to go sin, you go sin. You know you can go sin. What I call sin is some, if if you do something that affects somebody else is a sin you know if it harms somebody in some way that's what sin is um you know i hear people i had a guy apologize to me for him saying a cuss word and i'm you know and i'm saying you don't got to apologize to me yet that really didn't affect me you know it's it, god convicts you everybody different of the sins for them some you know the bible gives it the ten commandments that's what sin is and that's another thing that people think that we've done away with the ten commandments no we didn't do with it they didn't do away with it. jesus didn't do away with the ten commandments he just put them in your temple so we still abide by the ten commandments i mean uh 
that just ought to be in your heart now that you don't even have to really think about it to, to go by the Ten Commandments. You know, and I believe you should be do a Sabbath day. I don't know if anybody can find out the real Sabbath day or not, but but that's the way the order of God made the order of the earth so the earth could um the earth could work six days and then rest a day to rebuild itself. That's why and just like a human being, you work six days and take a day of rest to re rebuild yourself. Re uh because if you go seven, 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 seven days a week, you know, working, 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 seven days a week, you're soon going to be war until you can't go no more. That's the earth. The earth is like that too. It, it's like gardens. You're supposed to only plant a garden six, year, six years and then let, let the ground rest a year. So there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of guidelines that we need to take according to God's way. I'm going to end this video. I thank y'all for coming. Um, I hope you got something out of this video. But I just heard that this morning. I thought, man, those people, those the church is involved. This guy's with the church, uh, the church of the world. You know, the Nazarene, Pentecostal, Baptist, uh, all that. That's the beast system. And I was in that system. Now, I don't. I ain't saying your church is in the beast system, but most most of them are. You know. Most of them are. They're ready to. They're ready to follow you and get this world corrected. There's not any man gonna correct this earth. Only Yeshua is gonna be able to correct this earth. The people in this earth, the minds of this earth, and uh, the beast system's not gonna be able to. It's gonna be a counterfeit of a uh, correction. You know, it's gonna be a false correction. The beast is going to have a false correction. You're going to have to worship the beast. And let me t say one thing. There's one definition of worship that means submit. That says submit. That worship. If you submit, that's a form of worship. That's why I say what has happened will qualify for the mark of the beast because one of the words is worship the beast or worship the image. Well, all that means, one, one definition of a worship is submit. So if you submitted to taking something that put in your side your body, you submitted to doing that. So it's a form of worship. So what I'm saying, if you read the original Greek and Hebrew language, what's been going on could qualify for the mark of the beast. And you got to try to get that stuff out of you. There's ways that you can try to get that stuff out of you, but if you've taken, you know, if you've done it more than one time, um, I don't know what to tell you, you know, I mean, um, I believe you can, you know, prayer through prayer, because prayer changes your, will change your DNA. You know, humble prayer will change your DNA. So I'm saying that you should pray and there's things you can do. There's herbs you can take that will get stuff out of your blood system. Well, thank y'all for coming to my video. I hope everyone has a great